Dragon Ball AF, Lila's miscalculation. I am recording this post the video, um, so you're definitely going to get a weird thing going on here. You, you still have that much power left? That thing's only useful with that technique from before. And then, uh, so yeah, I recorded the video, I didn't record my voice, so we'll be getting a lot of this. Gah! Ah! I thought you used up all your power! I get it, didn't I? He restored Kaioshin's strength! Go on, son! Bring the sword down just like that! Ah! Stop it! <laughs> we did it. We've done it, Gohan. We've sealed Zykor away. So, they pulled it off? It's... It's over. Scum. Kaioshin-sama! Hmm. Butting in when butting in when you're merely the god of earth. Dende With this great of seal, I'll soon undo it. Go on. Shh you must defeat her. She's the cause the cause of all this. Ugh. What are you doing? The Prince of Saiyans. Darn it. I want this to be the last time I fight for the Earth's sake. Fight with me? Ah! Listen, Saiyan. I'm a god. I can read your mind. Ah! Not to mention that beat up as you are, your attacks are like nothing. It's 100,000 years too early for you to try to be killing me. Oh, no. Oh, snap. Gah! Ah! Ah! Vegeta got slam dunk, son. I knew it. Even So even though she's sunk into evil, she still hasn't lost her telepathic powers. That can't be. So... Now to undo this seal. The only people who can kill her are either demons or those with the same abilities. Which leaves only me. What are you up to? What could you possibly do? You've always been so powerless. As a Kaioshin, I cannot allow you to get away with this. I'll see to it that you atone for your deeds with your own death. Don't tell me you're going to self-destruct. Vegeta, I leave the rest to you. Oh, and Gohan, Vegeta and Gohan. Kaioshin Sama. Stop it, Shin. You're not allowed to self-destruct. Huh. Never thought I'd hear that from you, evil as you've become. Farewell, Lila, my sister. Stop. Kaioshin Sama! Side comment Piccolo and Hell still fighting off characters like Janimba. Pretty cool. That key just vanished, could it be? Even I felt that just now. Something's happening. Is it on Earth? 
No, that thing just now wasn't on Earth. It was somewhere closer. I'll tell you. Oh, look, it's Nova Shinron. I'm going to call him Nova Shinron. Uh, going to try to stay with the dub names. Kaioshin is dead. Kaioshin sama dead. Darn it! Why did it turn out like this? He took responsibility for his mistakes. Try to understand, Gohan. Cracks in the Z sword. Cracks. What's going on? Hey, son Gohan. That voice, Kaioshin's ancestor. That's right, seems that seal failed somehow. What a failure! That seal will last another month. When it breaks, that guy will come out again. What did you say? That can't be. What should we do? Well, that asking that won't really help. Is there nothing we can do? So you're saying that in one month we have to surpass him? But no matter how much we train, that's... Hmm. So such power couldn't be sealed away just by a single Kaioshin. Really now, he did such a half-butt job. Wow. Okay. I'm sorry. Why the heck are you here? Oh, look. It's Kibito. Kibito's just chilling back in the realm of the living. Well, there really isn't anywhere else for me to go. And you tried to make yourself look so cool. Popo with Dinde. Nice. But yeah, check that out. Insane. First off, just who was that bastard? Weren't you two Kakarot's only sons? I don't really know myself. Only a long time ago, father told me a story. Soon after Goku returned from planet Yardrat. How long has it been since we took a bath together, Gohan? Hey father, were you on planet Yardrat this whole year? Nope, actually, before I come back to Earth, I went to this other planet. There's this girl called Princess Lila there, and she fed me as much delicious food as I could eat. Interesting. Kind of like a Snake Way reference. It was really yummy. When I was full, I fell asleep right there. And then, uh, she took a- took a- oh, she cut him. Took a vial of blood, but when I came to the feast and that Princess Lila lady were gone. Owie, ow, ow. And on top of that, I ended up arriving later than Frieza. Oh, because he overslept. That's nothing to laugh about, father. If that man from the future hadn't shown up, it would have been awful. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> so that's when that bastard had his genetic information stolen. Most likely. Thank goodness, looks like everyone's alive. So what's been going on down below? Shut up and come with me. Alright. Me, 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 me. So you finally gained Shin Lam Gimme as an ally, huh, Shin Goku? But there's no way I'm gonna let you pass through here. Lang. Unless you defeat the evil Dragon Balls and to this floor, powerless, you'll never reach the uppermost floor. And even if you manage to reach it, I will boss. Hey, time out. Huh? Sorry, but we're in a hurry, so let's not play Palace of Evil today. No, really? Oh, poor guy. Poor guy. We've got to talk to Omega Shinron. It's extremely urgent. Call him for us. Right, right. You're always such a slave driver. We are back on Earth. And uh, Bulma is flying with everybody. Just chilling, I guess. Uh, getting more information. 
and uh, this panel right here looks really good. This is one of my favorite panels of the manga of the chapter, if not my favorite. Ah, brother! Oh, thank goodness! Bra, are you alright? Pathetic. That's what you get for slacking off in your training. Ah, oh, Trunks, poor guy. I'm glad you're awake, Trunks. Goten! Don't worry, it looks like he's just passed out. Hey, to continue con the conversation from before, essentially, that monster will come out again in one month? That's right. But, but, if only Sun Kun were here at a time like this. So, Grandpa can't be brought back to life, right? It's impossible. Kakarot isn't dead. He left the living world of his own volition. Yeah, either way, Zykor even was even more powerful than Father was before he left. So even if Father were here, he couldn't defeat him. But it's strange. I get the feeling that if Goku were here, he'd manage something. Tuh. Why don't you give it a rest? Just how long do you intend to rely on Kakarot? Try and think about why he left the living world. It's because he thought he could rest li easy living everything to you. Consider this a test. Show that you can protect the Earth even without Kakarot. Vegeta. I'll defeat that Zykor bastard no matter what. You'll see. Chew. Do heavenly people get colds? Oh snap, it's Omega Shinron. It's been a long time, Son Goku. It sure has, Omega Shinron. I believe I must explain to you what is happening now on Earth. Hey Gohan! Who's that? Kaioshin sama We're searching for a solution to this situation over here too. We looked into all sorts of things, but... I think that in the end, we've got no choice but to help from Goku. Get help from Goku. From Father, do you know where he is? Well, we do know technically, but where is he now? Yeah, well, it's this place called the Rio Shin Realm. Ryoshin Realm? Owie. Goten! What do you mean? What's this Ryoshin Realm? To put it simply, the world where the Shinrons live, more or less. Oh, the world where the dragons live, I guess. But wasn't Shinron created by God? To be precise, he wasn't created. Rather, he was called forth from the Ryoshin Realm. Interesting. A realm of dragons. Doesn't work well with the DBS lore, but it's kind of a better than the DBS lore when you think about it. With, uh, instead of them being carved off from the Super Dragon Balls, they're just summoned from another world. I see. So in other words, the Namekians possess power to summon the, uh, Shinrons from the real Shinron. But then why did Goku go to that world? Right, well, originally, the dragons weren't able to leave the Ryushin Realm. In order to call them forth to the living world, the Dragon Balls and a Dragon Model, or uh, the Dragon Balls and a Dragon Model are needed. Oh, I've seen that before. However, when the evil dragons were born, that model was destroyed, meaning that Shinron lost his physical presence in the living world. Having lost his physical presence, Shinron couldn't return to the Kaioshin Realm. Ryoshin Realm. Shinron's spirit needed a vessel to enter into. I get it. So then Shinron's spirit entered into Kakarot. Interesting. Shinron and Kakarot are both one. Huh? So that's what happened? Yeah, pretty much. Goku has become one with Shinron and gone to the Ryoshin Realm. Then let's just summon Goku. 
It won't be that simple. The Ration Realm is a special world. I've sealed off, so people cannot easily come and go between it and the outside world. But... Well then, isn't there any, any way for us to summon him? Oh, with the Dragon Ball, summoning Goku, the new Shinron. This is a crazy storyline. Kind of interesting, though, when you think about it. The Dragon Balls are, only, are the only way to call forth those in the ocean realm. What's become of the ones on Earth? Who's talking? Shh. I'm pretty sure that they're at Dinde's place. Still in stone form. I figured, the Dragon Balls may have been purged of their minus energy, but they still haven't gathered enough energy to be used again. It will most likely be a thousand years before those Dragon Balls will be usable once more. A thousand years? We can't wait that long! Hmm, that's why I said we don't need the likes of Kakarot. Besides, I don't think he'd be able to beat Zykor even if he were revived. That's true. There's no point in reviving Father if he can't defeat Zykor. Zykor is Goku's son. Oh, oh, oh snap, okay. So this, his misunderstanding is what started this whole battle. This is really a problem that should be resolved through dialogue, not fighting. For that purpose, at least, I've searched for Goku. Hey, if I don't get back to school pretty soon... Uh, you know, I ain't really do anything on my school. However, since Goku has merged with Shinron, perhaps we can solve this through fighting as well. What do you mean? When dragons and humans... They can obtain power many times of times greater, many ten times of greater than before. That's the legend that has been handed down in the Ryoshin realm. What? Hey, Pan, is it okay if I put Uncle Goku be quiet? Huh? Dang, cut Goku in some slack. I'll explain it all later. But the Dragon Balls are what's important. We can't do anything if they're just stones. Actually, there is a method by which we could immediately revive the Dragon Balls. What method? If each of the seven Dragon Balls are simultaneously infused with powerful light, then the Dragon Balls will regain their light. Interesting. Kind of like a god. Super Saiyan god ritual. Maybe this is where that came from? Light power? What's that? It's powerful light energy, only capable of being produced by a select few races, rarely seen in the universe. A uniquely gifted race. Where are they then, this race of light? That would be you, the Saiyans! Which makes sense, they literally glow yellow like a light bulb. The Saiyans? Oh, do you mean Super Saiyans? That's right, when seven Super Saiyans in, uh, simultaneously infuse the seven Dragon Balls with light, the Dragon Balls will be revived! What? Is that true? So all we have to do is infuse the Dragon Balls with power? Alright, there's some hope now. We all need a little bit of hope. Ah, it's hopeless! There's only six Saiyans on Earth now! Huh? Trunks, Goten, Vegeta, Pan, Bra, Me. And Bra and Pan, oh, there are only six. And Bra and Pan aren't even Super Saiyans. It's even more worthless. Pointless. Don't underestimate us. Ah. So we got Pan and Bra as Super Saiyans. This is actually a really cool thing. I wish GT would have done. I understand Bra not being a Super Saiyan because she wasn't much of a fighter, but Pan was the fighter. So it's cool that they are actually Super Saiyans, and uh, yeah, nice job, Toyotaro. Or Toyble, I guess I should say. You two, when did you... <laughs> We've been practicing together. Practicing? <laughs> Even so, it still doesn't change the fact that we are one person short. Kaioshin-sama, what should we do? Rat, sorry, but I don't know. Don't worry, I'll just defeat him by myself. Alright, Vegeta, nice. Nothing to report, sir. Okay! Alright then, don't let a single bog into this sector. Jeez, I wonder if we'll get killed by this Zykor guy, too. His goal is to rule the universe, right? So we're probably doomed. Yeah, darn it. Isn't there anything we can do? I'm still surprised about this Zyko. Goku's a pretty smooth operator to be so wild oats despite that scary wife of his. My weird Roshi voice. 
Master Roshi, I really don't think it's like that. By the way, Krillin, how many times will that be you've died? Hmm. Let's see. Five times, I guess. So, that's what happened. So what should I do then? Is there anything I can do? You can do nothing. We residents of the Ryoshin Realm cannot go to the lower world of our own violation. That includes you too, Goku. Since you fused with us, you can't go to Earth until you're summoned as a Shinron right along with the rest of us seven dragons. Interesting. But you should have known that. That's why you needed to be fully prepared when you made that decision. That's... That definitely came from the direction of Purunga's palace. So Purunga has headed out to the lower world, huh? What's that mean? Most likely the people of Earth are behind this. Interesting. Very interesting. New Planet Namek. In order to give their wishes to Pranga, Trunks and Goten visited New Planet Namek. Their first wish was to heal the damage to Earth. In their second wish, they revived those who had been killed. An easy wish. The Kaioshin Realm. Huh? Did Pranga... What should we do with the next wish, Trunks? Um, well, could you bring Goku here, please? And then we got the Namekian translations. That I cannot do. Reviving Goku greatly exceeds my own power. I figured it wouldn't work, so to revive Dad will need seven Super Saiyans after all. Super Saiyan, what? Hey, wasn't there one a long time ago? Trunks, you don't mean... Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, Broly! You want to revive Broly? No way, he was our enemy! But there's no other way. Don't worry. The way we are now, we'll get to be. We'll, we'll get him to listen to us by force if necessary. I give up. I won't be responsible for this. Um, would we still be able to revive someone if they died many years ago? That'd be fine. The new Prunga has no death time limit. Really? Then I'd like to bring Broly back to life. He was killed a long time ago on Earth. Now this is interesting because. I would just revive Bardock as a Super Saiyan from episode of Bardock. If you need a Super Saiyan, that's a little bit more trustworthy. But obviously, they wouldn't know about Bardock. So, it's whatever, really. Not really a plot hole. I understand wanting to use Broly. You couldn't really use Nappa or Raditz, because neither of them are Super Saiyans either. So, I understand this, Trunks. I'm not sure it's the smartest thing, but I get it. What will you do if he turns violent? I told you, I'll be fine. It'll be fine. An easy wish. Broly? Who's that? Your wish has now been granted. Farewell. He said it was granted, but where's Broly? He died on Earth, so he should have come back to life there, too. On Earth? Darn it! This is terrible if we don't get back soon. Broly will wreck the Earth before Zykor dies. Trunks, Goten, get back to Earth. Huh? Yes, sir. What's happened? Surely I was killed. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the Dragon Ball AF Chapter 3 arc. So during this video, when I first recorded it, I recorded everything with dialogue. And then it turned out I didn't record my mic at all. Uh, so all if, if something about this seemed off, this was all the video that I captured and none of the original audio was kept. So I, I'm literally, I, re I literally had to go back and re-record everything just now. So what was supposed to be a 25 minute video turned into a 50 minute video. Uh, just because I had to record it twice. So hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun doing this. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for supporting me. I really appreciate it. Peace off.